Hey, Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Just a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions, but free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon, exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie. Sounds like Jason, all right. <laughs> I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if... We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words. Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade. The event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich, dress up, and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. So many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. New data was added to the board. I leveraged a mutual acquaintance. The head of security for the Orchard Hotel, Mr. Hendricks, has agreed to a meeting. The details are pinned to the evidence board. We have a guest. Is that... a cat? How did a cat get past our security protocols? It wouldn't be the first cat to find its way past the bat's walls. Have you actually seen it? Not yet, but I suspect if we start leaving food out for him, we may find ourselves with a new addition to the bat family. I wonder what cats like to eat. Maybe one of the others can pick up some food on patrol. A cat in the belfry. Huh. I'm going to read everything I can so it doesn't scratch me. I've always heard the Orchard Hotel is haunted. That's true at least one night a year. Bunch of rich ghouls and masks. taken before his death has gone viral. Stop that! Mr. Wayne! wanted planted. He knew how to make a cover story. <laughs> the footage is supposedly from a GCPD sting operation. 
exactly when Batman was last fighting Two-Face. You know, I'd almost forgotten he used to do stuff like this. <laughs> the best part is, he did it so often, no one's gonna realize this is from a different night. <laughs> I guess now we have to find someone else to play sexy distraction for us. <laughs> nope. I'll do it. I'm great at table dancing. Wow, this uh, video is really blowing up on social media. Uh, I think it's a great idea. Thank you. I thought they'd be more, I don't know, intelligent? They're supposed to be the court's greatest weapon. It's more difficult to control someone capable of free will. Or anyone able to think at all. But that doesn't mean we can underestimate them. They are still capable fighters. Sure. I just won't try to have a conversation with them. Don't forget that you have a rendezvous with Mr. Hendrix. Cool. Thanks, Belfry. here. I bet Hendrix is somewhere close. feeling this day was coming. You wouldn't believe the things that I heard at the hotel. The court seems really big on secrecy. Shit, they're real? That explains the masks. Look, one of my guys was feeding them info. And you know what? You should probably have all the same intel, too. Wow, that's exactly what we needed. Thanks. This city is going to the birds, I swear.
Belfry, Hendrix gave me a data drive after getting rescued. Excellent. Please return to the Belfry so we can evaluate next steps. I have better get out of here. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Raish is, was, a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up. Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah, I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss him. Excellent. The drive Mr. Hendricks provided us contains exactly what we need. I've set up a safe house for Mr. Hendricks. His original one was compromised, but he'll be all right now. Glad to hear it.
Belfry, I've reached the Orchard Hotel. The balcony door should be open. That's your entry point. Balcony? You booked a fancy suite. It was the closest one to the ballroom. I thought you'd appreciate the proximity. You know I do. Belfry, I'm inside the orchard. You could probably eavesdrop from the ballroom if you can find a good vantage point. Just make sure no one sees you. Security systems should be down now. Nicely done. Remember, those guards are court members in disguise, so take them down if you can. This isn't over. There's my way in. Belfry, I'm about to enter the ballroom. Nice. Let's see what Gotham's elite have to say for themselves. Record as much as possible. We need as much data as we can get. I thought I told you that formal wear was required this evening. This is formal wear. Have you been to the hotel's east staircase? The one they sealed off? I hear it's haunted. That's what I heard too. Strange noises, almost cries, and scratches in the walls. Ugh. Did you hear about Langstrom's assistant? He deserved to be let go. Just like Kirk, people forget their place. The voice remembers. Got some matches here. No sign of the voice yet. Is this all they could muster for the great Bruce Wayne? It's embarrassing. When I go, it'll be a spectacle. Fireworks, dancers, ice sculptures, the works. Hard to believe Bruce Wayne is gone. I know. I was hoping to be a state this year. What do you mean you won't see me? I'm the goddamn mayor. I'm afraid his schedule won't permit it. You tell Colonel Kane that I won't be frozen out. My office demands respect. Of course it does, Mayor Sai. I'll relay your message. Did you sign the guest book? How could I not? I've got people to impress. Did you see some of the names in there? I did. Senators, judges, CEOs, even the mayors here. <laughs> Look at this. Even in death, Wayne tries to outdo us. Let him have his final hurrah. After tonight, it won't be a problem. You're right. His death ought to be a celebration. What do you think this is? Couple matches. These people are something else. There's one. Huh. 
Pillars of Gotham, may I please have your attention. It is my absolute pleasure to present our host for the evening. Host? In an owl mask? Ten dollars says that's the voice of the court. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. Holy voice of the court. We have a match. Good. Stay on him. We need to find out who he is. Sir, the labs are requesting more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir. Not a good idea. We don't even know where that elevator goes. Maybe that's where the voice went. Maybe this haunted stairwell leads to Lucky 13. Belfry, I'm on the 13th floor and found a court door. This has to be it. Understood. Tread carefully. Walls. This is a literal truth. 
The old voice of the court on vinyl. They must have custom pressed it. While we walk the halls of power with our heads held high, our true purpose hides inside the walls around us. Our court whispering into each other's ears like Cyrano on a date with destiny. Now, if I was the voice of the court, where would I be? Belfry, any idea where I should start looking? Belfry? Oh, of course there's no comms. That would be too easy. They say an owl can turn its head all the way around to better see what is behind it. What might be trying to sneak up and strike. Well, this is interesting. over. I wonder what they were looking at. An operation was compromised. Found to be new nine for cockroaches. We eliminated him. So the corp killed Langstrom for working for someone else. If this recording isn't enough for a conviction, I don't know what is. But there's still plenty to clean. Destroy everything. Make it so Langstrom never existed. We must send a message. You are only an owl of the court. So long as you remain loyal to the court. So many names. High profile murders, missing persons. Langstrom's on here. Is this a list of court targets? Gotham architecture. Did the court have a hand in all these buildings? The numbers on the wall are the years each place was built or renovated by court-connected firms. Maybe this is something to do with the dates on the wall. City Hall. GCPD Central Station. The courthouse. Definitely on the right track. By controlling these buildings, the court also controls the different power structures in Gotham. No wonder they're so powerful. Of course. I should have known it was you.
you wanted to talk. Go to the painting. So you made it here, all by yourself. You're trying to destroy Gotham. I can't let that happen. Destroy Gotham? No, we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You talk like you weren't just another villain, hiding behind a mask. The only one hiding behind a mask is you, Tim. Jacob Kane? How? How, how do you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. The people of Gotham aren't puppets. When they find out you're pulling their strings, they're not gonna like it. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. Except Robin doesn't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. For protectors of Gotham, you sure murder a lot of your friends. Kirk Langstrom, his assistant? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his fortune to fight for this city. You fight for yourself. He never would have stood for this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. I'm nothing like you, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Mike's. Stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. Oh no. I should get back to the boulder.
The League's just killing everyone. This is awful. Montoya, it's Robin. I take it you heard what happened at the hotel. I was inside. I saw everything. Yeah? Then care to tell me who the hell those assassins were? The League of Shadows. They're a secret organization that... Actually, I'll just send you our files. You'll see. <laughs> 